Hello, welcome to Chris's Beer Reviews. How are you? Hope you're all doing really well. It's been five days since I've done a beer review. Five days. It's definitely time for a beer review. Uh, sorry for being away for five days. Um, we've got a first on the channel in two ways. It's a first brewery for me and obviously so it'll obviously be the first time it's on the channel really. And it's from Wiper and True. This is a milk steak milk steak it's not a steak <laughs> i can assure you it's not a steak it's a milk stout milkshake stout from wiper and true and this is in sainsbury's 440 ml can coming in at 5.6 percent abv there it is so a wiper and true a brewery that i've been aware of for a very very long time um, but just never had anything from them there's a reason for that and it's going to sound a bit petty two reasons and it is really going to sound petty the brand name or the brewery name wiper and true it's just something about that that irritates me and i don't know why i just don't like the the name of it wiper and true and i've just never been a big fan of their their can art either just plain white wiper and true in black normally with a gold picture on it this one's got the uh, space shuttle on it I know it sounds silly, but it just I've just never been attracted to them. But I did see it in Sainsbury's and I thought, well, why not? Let's pick it up. I'll read the bit on the back of the can. There's quite a nice little write-up on here. It says, milk stouts are brewed with sugar from cow's milk to give the beer a sweet, creamy tone. Bristol breweries were once, a f were once famous for making the best milk stouts around. For our... For our take on the traditional recipe, we've used copious amounts of chocolate malts and laced them with vanilla and cacao to create a milkshake, rich, velvety and satisfying dark beer. Store and serve chilled. Our beer was... Our beer. Can't speak tonight. Our beer is unfiltered and may contain sediment. Pour gently, not suitable for vegans. So there we go. It sounds good. It does sound really good. So anyway waffled on let's crack on let's get this one out let's get in the glass see how she looks how she sniffs and how she tastes I do quite fancy a stout tonight hence i'm doing the stout so yeah, this is available in sainsbury's i think it was three pound fifty maybe three pound or three pound fifty this is all going to go in there going to make sure of it not getting any aromas yet I think this has been around for a, it's not a new stout to wiper and true I think this has been around a long while but yeah new in Sainsbury's they've got a few new beers in there so there it is in the glass let's have a look at that that is pretty jet black isn't it really lovely lovely head on there tan coloured head looks nice but definitely jet black yeah, nothing bleeding through there let's see how it sniffs definitely get chocolate on the aroma definitely powdered chocolate it has got a um, kind of a sweet aroma to it definitely got a sweetness to it sweet chocolate there's a tiny little bit of, almost getting a bit of a, a vinegariness to it. So I'm hoping that's not going to be in the, the taste. It smells all right. It's not blowing me away on aroma. Let's see how this tastes then. Cheers, everyone. I think it needs to be warmer it does say serve chilled but i think it needs to be warmer that's not that's not exciting me um reading the, the description on the back i thought it would um well the, the description on the back certainly excited me i thought it sounded amazing um but it, it's, it's not delivering what it says on the can in terms of what it raves on about on that little write up on the back it's it's okay three pound fifty or three quid I don't know it 
the mouthfeel yeah, it's got a creaminess to it but it's not as the mouthfeel is not as creamy and as thick as I'd have liked I know it's only what did I say 5.6% um, but it's not it's not a good mouthfeel it's bordering on thin to medium rather than a, a good kind of medium bodied mouthfeel flavor wise it's got chocolate in there it's got coffee elements to it it has got a sweetness to it you know it it's just not as bold as i wanted it to be i wanted it to be really kind of super smooth i wanted to really kind of get that kind of lactosey type feel from it um which you know which is obviously in there and it, it doesn't deliver that that kind of smooth lactose mouthfeel which really lets it down flavor wise it's just okay everything's really subtle a little bit of kind of roasty malty bitterness chocolates there the vanilla is there but it's just just doesn't deliver it in the way i thought it was going to it's a nice stout would i recommend it if you go on the likes of trembling madness you you'll get much better for the same sort of money really um <sighs> I'd, I'd, I'd go as far as to say the organic chocolate stout from um, <sighs> Sam Smith's is better than that. Much better. It's just okay. It's not, well, <laughs> not much more I can say, is there really? If you've had it and you like it, let me know what you think. Uh, I've got nothing else I can say to that. I'm all done. See you on the next one. Cheers. Bye now.